Then in Pearl Street Street. Mall and Boulder, already seeing the snow falling up into Louisville and portions of our northern mountains, and it will continue today. In Denver, it's dry right now, mostly cloudy skies, but especially after 11, more widespread snow will filter into the metro area, so be prepared for a cold and snowy afternoon. Right now, we're in the low 20s, but our daytime highs are going to stay in the low 20s. No nice warm-up in store for today. You can see our radar and satellite already picking up that snow north of Fort Collins and to the border near Grover and out to the west into portions of Boulder County up through Netherland. A lot of advisories in place across the state. It's going to be winter weather advisories starting this morning at 11 o'clock, lasting until at least 5 a.m. on Thursday. Heavy snow into the mountains, especially up near Steamboat Springs. You can see around 6 to 12 inches accumulate and across the far eastern plains through tomorrow morning. It's going to be areas of blowing snow and limited visibility. So it's a fast moving cold front. Mountain snow continues this morning. The snow will really pick up after the midday hours here in Denver and frigid conditions with slick roadways, especially tonight through early Thursday. Temperatures outside right now are in the high teens, Fort Collins and Greeley, low 20s over the metro, single digits and teens into the mountains. You can see from our hourly planner, not too much in terms of any warm up this afternoon. We'll see highs in the low 20s. It's going to be 22 in Highlands Ranch, up through Keensburg, into Boulder as well, and then up into the mountains teens and low 20s. Here's our future cast today into tomorrow. You can see as we get into this afternoon, snow will really start to be heavy into the high country, really move into the I-25 corridor and eastern plains through tonight and early tomorrow morning. And as of right now, some pretty significant snow totals into the mountains, which is great news for our snowpack. Extended spring skiing seasons up into the mountains. Winter Park looking at around a foot when all is said and done. Four to eight from Estes Park, Grand Lake down through Keystone and around the Denver area two to five and a little bit more further off to the west near Boulder, nearing about five to six inches when all is said and done. Here's future cast as we get through Thursday, so the snow will gradually taper off, especially up north and into the Denver region by midday tomorrow, clearing skies by Friday morning, and it's going to be very cold in the overnight hours, dropping down to the single digits, and temperatures will only be in the 20s both today and tomorrow, but then a nice warm up will arrive for the weekend. Friday, mostly sunny, highs only in the mid 30s, so we'll start to see a little melt by Friday and to Saturday temperatures overnight won't be as cold. So if you're out and about for Friday night or Saturday night, we'll drop down to the upper 20s to low 30s. Sunday for the high country, you'll see that fresh powder with this storm, but it is going to be dry, chilly 20s and 30s back to near 60 degrees by next week. Yeah.